there, so there, as you said, there's six stars. So we obviously have one uh, sun. Uh, in this case, you know, a lot of the nighttime stars in nighttime sky have two or three stars. Uh, but here, by having six, there would be times that if you're a planet, you would have a sunrise, and then a sunrise an hour later, you know, and, and two and, suns on and you. two suns or or four Multiple suns. Multiple shadows. That's right. So it, it's a little bit of a weird system. We know two is common and three is common. Four starts to kind of get rare. Six is. Can you point them out here for us? Are they... So, so, so I think we'll zoom in as we come in around All right. uh, to find the six-star system. I feel so, like we're doing the telescope. Like, that's right. That's right. We're scanning for this. But one of the weird things about the six-star system, I guess, in particular, is weird. Is not only are there six, but there's three sets of couples. So there's like three pairs. Right. So you have two stars spinning around, another two, and another two, and then they're all spinning around a central point. Uh, which is actually quite hard to get all of these to essentially cooperate like that. Speaking so, of cooperate, have we found the stars yet? How I, I don't know really where we're looking. <laughs> I think we're wandering through it. It's really right. hard to find. But this is one of the tricks that we're trying to do with tests is you're trying to search through all of these stars and you're trying to find the right balance to see mm. just essentially... The well, right we're getting flip. an idea for the difficulty of the telescope operator, if nothing else. Yeah, that's right. I'm really right. trying to find, uh, you know, it, it is trying to find a needle in the haystack right. and then figuring out I'm getting what busy. that needle Let's is. Let's move on. We've got the first all-private crew selected heading to the International Space Station. Why all-private? What does this mean? So this is a, a run by Axiom Space. So Axiom Space is a private company set up to do private astronauts. Now, Axiom uh, is founded by a previous NASA astronaut, so it's one of the leaders. And in, unlike Richard Branson, who wants to take people up, kind of just skimming the Earth, Axiom has the contracts who actually go and stay in the International Space Station. So the first three private people who have paid uh, 55 million US, so 71 million Australian each, Jeez. We'll be able to get an eight-night stay. Uh, you do get travel and accommodation, though. <laughs> um, and food. Yeah, and food. Um, but so essentially NASA says if you're having, as a private person, there's a rate for water, there's a rate for electricity, there's a rate for right. using the toilet, using food. Now, that comes out at about a million dollars in terms of just raw, coverable stuff yeah. that they have to do. And NASA's really finding a way of that some of the money goes to the private company to, to support their endeavors. Yeah. And the other goes to NASA to actually keep the space station ticking over. So it, but I would have thought NASA had this massive budget. And I, I know you were talking about millions and millions of dollars, but it wouldn't really make a difference. So they, does, it, does it really matter for them to get a bit of extra money through well, space it, it, so, so if you think that they're going to get an extra, say, $50 million out of that, what ends up being $165 million, that actually offsets an entire other astronaut launch. All right. so, so, so these actual costs can add up. Yeah. And so NASA's seeing this, but what NASA's also offered this private company is they can, in 2020, by 2024, build their own part of the space mm. station and then manage it themselves. Is that your dream, just floating through? See, I actually wouldn't want to do this. It's just pretty cramped, right? But, well, yeah, know, but these, if, these people want to experience the full thing. So, so they, if they offered you a free spot, you'd say, look, I'm pretty busy If it busy was free, maybe. I don't think I'd yeah. be able to afford the $55 million okay. uh, bill here and, and anytime do, soon. Do they still get to vet them? I mean, the one yes. thing from my understanding in space is you can't send someone who's going to you know, lose the plot or get disruptive or something. Yeah, so, so there was two policies. One, obviously, besides the money, uh, they did have to do a health screening. Um, so there was a preliminary screening to make sure they'll have basic passing. Uh, okay. And then they will have to go a 15-week training um, before NASA allows them to get yeah, on. Yeah, and have a, a lot of money. Hey, SpaceX launching 143 satellites into orbit, so this is off one rocket. rocket. And this is the impressive thing. Uh, you know, when you see a rocket going up, usually it's taking anywhere between sometimes two, but, you know, usually 10 to 20 satellites. In this case, this SpaceX launch, so just kind of in the top of this nose cone here, they shoved 143 satellites. Now, some of these you are only... You don't make it sound very scientific. They just shoved them in there. Well, it's a little bit more nuanced by that, but they have this, essentially this layered approach and this honeycomb. Now, some are only about this big, about the size of a loaf of bread, which is why you can get it. But it has meant they've set the record. The previous was 101 satellites launched in a single rocket by India. Uh, and it just goes to show that even now we're only getting one or two rockets per week now. They're taking tens to hundreds of satellites. It eventually means, though, this gets passed on to the research sector, but also to the consumer, cheaper so, ways. So, so what, what are most of those? Are they going to help mobile phone reception or internet or cable TV? So, or... so they literally are doing the whole range ultimately in that from, from all of that. The big mm. cost here is they're actually now getting down to the cost of about a million dollars. 
Previously, it was about $20,000 per kilogram. Now, essentially, they're charging you on order of maybe $1,000 per kilogram. So that cost is dramatically right. getting cheaper, which means then the cost of doing your mobile phone or your observations is cheaper as well. And, and that's the benefit of these ride-sharing techniques. Must be Just having, like Uber. Must be having an impact. We've, we've got reception in the car park here now. So maybe I, it's that an was, amazing thing, Must right? have been the last rocket.